Thanks, Mary. Another great program ahead. Tonight, we'll hear from Fran McCaffrey seniors winding down on their Hawkeye careers in a special Monday edition of our Five Things segment. Inside the Daily Iowa TV Sports Studio, I'm Rachel Bedell. We begin tonight's program on the mat just after the release of the Big Ten Championship's preliminary seeds. Eight Iowa wrestlers made it into the top four, including senior Tony Ramos, who takes a top seed at 133 pounds. Nick Moore earned the number two spot at 165, three more at the three seed. Corey Clark at 125, Mike Evans at 174, and Ethan Lofthouse at 184. Defending NCAA championship Derek St. John is only slotted at the four seed at 157. Other four seeders are Brody Grathus at 149 and Bobby Telford at 285. Off the mat and onto the field, the Heller era is off to a great start. The Iowa baseball team is now 9-1 after sweeping the Stetson Invitation in DeLand, Florida this past weekend. The team is off to its best start since 1940. Sam Logic of the women's basketball team earned her spot in the records book as the school's all-time assist leader. In Sunday's matchup against Illinois, Logic ended the regular season by posting 12 points with 7 rebounds and 5 assists. Those assists pushed the junior to 577 for her career. Only in her junior year, Logic is sure to put some distance between the previous record of 576 assists, which was set by Kara Consugra back in 2001, Bluter's first season at the helm. Congratulations, Sam. Still on the court side of things, Fran McCaffrey and co. will soon be preparing for their final game at home this Saturday night against Illinois. And for three members of McCaffrey's squad, it'll be their last time taking the court inside for Hawkeye Arena. I caught up with three of the seniors, Devin Marble, Mel Sambasave, and Zach McCabe, Sunday about their memorable moment while in a Hawkeye Uni. I'd say one of the, the best moments probably when we beat Purdue our freshman year. Yeah, that probably was like, you know, obviously I'm a father. I don't, yeah, they know that. But before that, that probably was the greatest day of my life before that happened. And I, I, I told somebody it's tied, but they didn't like that. But, yeah, I'm going to agree with Dev. That was just a, a crazy, it was just like a, it's, you can't, can't imagine that feeling. And, you know, just this year playing all these big games is, in, you know, just the feeling of this whole season that we have a very talented team. All of this stuff has been special. Uh, I'd say Purdue freshman year was a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, uh, we had Chris Street night uh, when we played Wisconsin, and that was that was pretty exciting. A lot of energy in the yeah, building and stuff like that, energy. and um, and we came out with a big win, so that was fun. You had your daughter this year, so how has that been having your daughter while competing in your senior year? It's been excellent. It's been a blessing. You know, everybody was asking me. Uh, it could be a challenge being a parent, but you know, so far it's just been so fun and enjoyable. And, you know, my daughter kind of is like her daddy. Very, you know and enjoyable, exciting, and, you know, she's playful, and Uncle Dev right here plays with us, so, you know, he knows she's been just a great addition to us, so, you know, I, like I said, everything has been a blessing, been blessed with these great, talented teammates, been blessed with, a, you know, winning, blessed with a daughter, like I said, my family, everything this year has just been, you know, just glorious. That'll do it for me here in the sports studio. Be sure to tune into tomorrow's program where we'll have more from our three seniors. But before I go, Taylor Axelson and Jalen Socek are standing by for a Monday edition of Five Things. Taylor and Jalen, take it away. Hey guys, welcome back to Five Things. I'm Taylor Axelson. And I'm Jalen Socek. So you've probably all seen how hungry Aaron White is on the court during a Hawkeye basketball game. But I bet you don't know how hungry he is out of the gym. So far in his career, the junior has had 45 double-doubles and this season is leading the Big Ten in field goal percentage. Right now, he's leading the team in rebounds and could become the fifth player since 1960 to lead the Hawks in rebounding three consecutive seasons. So we heard the Strongsville Ohio native keeps himself on a strict healthy diet. So we asked him five of his game day eats. Uh, for pregame meal, I like to eat, um, I got two things. I either eat pancakes or I like to eat uh, grilled chicken with uh, green beans. Post game, um, if we're at home, usually go out to eat. I like Monica's. That's, that's my favorite spot around town. Uh, the salmon's the best there. Um, or if we're on the road, we usually, they usually get us pizza, but I don't really eat that. So I eat a banana and a protein shake until I get home. Favorite snack would probably be uh, cereal. I'm a big cereal eater. So uh, right now, chocolate Cheerios and Raisin Bran. So. Well, we know what he ate after the game. Probably not pizza. That's OK, more for us. <laughs> so that's all we have for tonight, but thanks for stopping by. We'll be right here again next week to pass five new things your way. Back to you guys at the desk.